Hello friends, welcome to Google IT Help. This is quick tutorial session. In this session, we are going to change the color themes and file icon themes in Visual Studio Code. So guys, color themes allows you to modify the colors in Visual Studio Code's user interface and the code editor, and that suits your preferences and work environment. Let's do it together. So first, we are going to change the color theme in Visual Studio Code. Let me tell you a few important things, the navigation, how you will reach to the right option. So you have to go to the file menu, then you have to click on the preferences. There you will see the option color theme. This navigation is for Windows 10. And the user, those who have Mac OS can go on the same place following this navigation. First code menu, then preferences, then color theme. At this place, we are on the Windows environment. So guys, we can use the keyboard key shortcuts as well. So what is the sequence? First, we will press Ctrl K. After that, we will press Ctrl T to open the color theme picker option. I will show you everything here. And after that, we will see the list. So we will use the keyboard cursor and we can select the particular theme and we can apply on VS Code. Let me minimize the size of this VS Code editor and here we will see every things what I have told you. Okay, so first we will follow the uh, navigation from the menu. First we have to go here at the file menu then we will see the preferences option. After that we will see color theme. Look at here. Okay, so click on it and you will see the drop down here. Here you will see list of some frequently used and uh, on top preferences themes name. So you can select any one. You can see uh, we have the dark plus as a default. So I have just selected the different one and which is immediately applied here on this and you can see the preview. Now instead of going back to the file menu, I will prefer keyboard shortcuts which is very fast so first you have to press ctrl plus k after that press ctrl t and you will see this drop down here we have the list of the themes you can choose anyone i'm selecting this solarized light oh this is applied but this is showing me uh, lots of brightness which is not uh, good for me so i'm going with this blue one this is most beautiful uh, for me and uh, maybe uh, your choice will be different so we have lots of uh, uh, existing themes here to apply on it so simply select and you can apply as i told you you can use the shortcut that will be fast okay guys now i want to tell you one more thing you can download more color themes from marketplace after that you can simply search through this filter adroit category themes okay we will do the same we will use the shortcut and this will see the drop down you can see the here we have the option browse additional color themes once you click on it this will search on the marketplace and this is trying to fetch all the list okay i will use this filter so after some time we will see all uh, list which is fetched from the marketplace so after some time you will see the list uh, drop down here okay guys we found so many themes here on the marketplace so you can go on on each theme one by one and you can explore which one is best for your working environment so you have a huge list of different different themes here for your visual studio code so choose any one of your choice and enjoy your theme here and guys suppose uh, you want to select so just click any one of them and you will see something is happening on the left hand side you can see the selected theme is in progress and the installation is done you can see quickly installed and the, do the same shortcut key and you will see here in the list you will find your downloaded installed theme is present here 
okay so in the same way you can download so many themes and you can add here in your list and time to time you can switch on any theme of your choice okay guys i hope this is clear to you now we are going to do the second thing we will see uh, how to change the file icon themes so for this purpose we have the shortcut key control shift p and then you will get the option let me show you practically so here in the visual studio code keyboard uh, combination control shift p and you will see the option and just type here file icon theme and you will see uh, this option click on it and you will see the list we have only two uh, kind of themes which comes default with the visual studio code installation and if you want more different themes file again themes you can download these new themes from the marketplace so right now you can see we have two and so i've just selected the another one which is very simple and no color combination is used and this is the simple black and white icons and the first one was city which is default set also we have the option to disable the icon for all files okay so i'm going back to reset to city this is set okay so as i have told you that vs code gives you only two file icon theme by default if you want more different kinds of themes so you can just uh, download from the marketplace there's an option i will show you how you can proceed and once you download it you will see that uh, downloaded and installed theme uh, in your list so you can change uh, as per your requirement okay now coming back here in the visual studio code and we will see how to do it so press the same keyboard shortcut and you will see here uh, the option installed under another theme and you will see on the left hand side in the explorer and there are so many results you can choose different different icon themes for your visual studio code and you can simply install it so guys uh, we have options to download th uh, color themes for your visual studio code as well as the file icon themes from the uh, visual studio code marketplace please uh, try few new uh, color themes just go to the marketplace and download and set up your visual studio code and and try it and if you found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to learn more and for now thanks for watching Cool IT help.